If you're running an HTC phone like this Droid Incredible, you're probably going to have to use the Unrevoked tool. This tool is available for Windows, Mac, and Linux, which is nice. I'm running it on a Mac in this video demonstration, so I don't need to install any extra drivers, but if you're running it on Windows, you will need to install the HBoot drivers for your device. All you need to do is start up the tool, plug in your phone, and head to Settings, Applications, Development, and check the USB debugging box. Once you do, Unrevoked should come up with a prompt letting you know it's about to start, and from then on, you don't have to do anything. It's going to take a while and it's going to reboot your phone a few times, but basically you just have to play the waiting game. It's going to come up with this white screen, which is your bootloader, and just let it do its thing there. and it will then reboot into Android but make sure you don't unplug your phone unless Unrevoked says it's done ah the good old Verizon splash screen Notice that Unrevoked says it is not done, and if you head into the app drawer, you will see that you do not have a super user permissions app, which means that you're not done rooting yet, so whatever you do, do not unplug your phone. Just let it keep doing its thing. It'll reboot back into your bootloader again. Again, this process takes forever. It's going to reboot into your new recovery, which is a black screen with green text on it that you probably have not seen yet. And it's going to finish the root process from there. Once Unrevoked says done and your phone has rebooted, you can go ahead and unplug it. Double check your app drawer to make sure you have the Super User Permissions app. And if you do, congratulations, you've successfully rooted your HTC phone.